All right, boys, we have patch notes. The new character is Freya. We were thinking we might get an outfit because that would be super hot. It actually is Freya W. W. You know what? I'm not going to say it. I know Beats would be saying something, though. But uh, I'm excited. Freya. Freya, uh, we're going to look at the unit in a minute. We're going to look at the rest first, though. New card set based on my person translations. I don't know what it is. It's something with attack based on how many summer units you have. Um, oh my god, it's good, Escanor. Oh my god, he's sexy. Yeah, he's sexy. Nah, that's... That is sex. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna look at this too. Let's see anything else. Okay, okay, we don't care, right? We don't care, guys. Uh, we can all... Oh, the dream event. Huge. Uh, okay, anything else, guys? Um, no, we don't care. No, we don't care. Right? If, if there's anything that matters here, we'll be looking at that at some point in the future. The banner, first of all. Okay. Oh, it has Escort on there on Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, let's see. Let's see what she does. Let's do... Uh... All right, the translating website is really cringe. But it's a uh, pure single target still. It's the same single target as she has before. And then she has 390. That should be an AO. Well, actually, it's a really strong AO if it's an AOE. 50% uh, for two turns. Is that... It's an attack card. It's a ranged attack card. Um, 50% for two turns. It's explode. No, explode's a debuff too. I'm not too sure. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to this. Okay, it's not, it's not letting me translate, guys. Look at this. Actually, I can just do this. Um, okay, it does non-effective... Okay, so it's power strike, I guess, plus something else. Uh, if I put it to Japanese, it just, it just turns racist. Oh, it doesn't. Disable. Oh, it's spike. Wait, is it spike? Disable critical damage delta two. Oh, it's cleave. Oh, it's cleave and power strike in one card. But like, it's oh no, it ignores fifty percent resistance and then it does double crit damage. Ah, oh, this is crit damage actually. This bottom one. Yeah, okay, that is true. Okay, interesting card. Okay. Anyway, uh, she looks pretty good. Uh, her passive, I didn't even read. Oh, it's a PP passive. Okay, that's toxic. Um, each specific ally PvP, okay, for every, uh, Ragnarok or unknown race, she gets 8% basic stats, um, it gives charm to the enemy the high, okay, she charms the highest CC enemy, they can only attack Freya, and when they attack Freya, she takes 40% less damage, and the damage she inflicts with a, with her killing skills, uh, with 30% increase, you can use skills from the critical damage, huh? With your killing skills. Peace, but peace. Okay, every time... Okay, so the way I, I see it now, okay. She takes 40% less damage from the uh, opponent's charm. She does 30% more damage to that opponent. Uh, and then when... Okay, yeah, okay. When critical damage occurs to the enemy, the debuff effect... Oh, she cancels one debuff effect on her. And when she does, for every like every time she removes a debuff on herself, she gets all stats increased by five, up to uh, fifteen percent. That's really good. Let's say you have two debuffs, right? You, you face a bond, you have two debuffs. You attack with her, you attack again, right? Uh, you crit both times because I assume you always crit, and then you um, you because uh, you lower. Oh, it's crit resist. Oh, she not she ignores crit resistance. Oh, sorry, it's not power strike. She ignores crit resistance. Okay, so it's just 50% more crit chance on that card. So she's going to crit on this, right? Especially if it's multi which it looks to be. Then uh, she's just going to be cooking. She's going to be uh, removing a, a debuff on her and increasing all her stats. And she has even more crit chance. And current Freya right now has pretty good crit chance too. And ultimately, it's the same thing. That is pretty cool and all. But we're here for one guy and one guy only. So, um... His passive is when you death play... Oh, uh, your death blow... When he becomes uh, max gauge, he can't be debuffed or buffed. Um, green Eskner, right? So, to the enemy who did not use a skill on the enemy's turn at the end of the turn, one permanent flame is given for three turns. Okay, so if an enemy doesn't attack, they're given a permanent flame, right? Because, uh, you know, it's Eskinor. He's kind of stealing the Gowns thing, but, like, we'll, we'll accept it. If all allies, including subslots, I like that, are human, during three turns to all enemies at the start of turn... Oh, uh, so... Oh! At the start of a non-turn. Huh? For three turns... At the start of battle, I assume, one additional permanent flame is added. Also, per one eternal flame uh, on the enemy, he gets 5% attack increase, attack related stats increase, up to 30%. And then uh, this, this, the, the rest is the same. Okay, so. Um, oh, now it's. 
Oh, nice. Oh, okay. So per okay, so he has explosion, but it's like a different explosion. He per dam per flame on the enemy, he does forty percent more damage. That's really strong. That's like tornado. That's the Rosa tornado, right? It's fifty percent, but it's forty percent. The same thing. And then his skill two is instead of just being one eighty and then ignite, and then on rank two it does a uh, what do you call it? Uh, like rolls debuffs. It does disable buff effect on enemy on rank one already. Does one eighty. And it has two Ignites on rank 1. Okay, so it's just a much, much better card. Um, okay, and now his ultimate is just... Disables of, uh, the buff effect in a single enemy. What? Oh, that's his rank... Oh, oh, wait, that's his rank 2. Oh, so they can show, okay. So on a rank 2, what it did was... Uh, yeah, just remove buff 3% and then do two Ignites. Now it's... Okay, so it's disabled, but it just has four Ignites now. Okay, you're going to be Igniting people. Uh, but this is per per permanent flame, not per ignite. But that's really good. Hey, Croc boss is out still. He's gonna roll that. I'm just saying. And then his ultimate is just. Oh, he just guaranteed crits, like pretty much. Okay, I mean it's gonna kill. Especially with the stats, guys. I was just making my highest CC team to check, um, well, like how much CC I have. If I put like everything to max, which uh, right now is a little difficult, but. Uh... Yeah, anyway, if we... I have to take these off, I think. Um, if we check, I have like 200, like 422k-ish. Um, right? I like 422k-ish. Okay? This is not with the best links, and like the links aren't geared and everything. Like she has this link and everything. Um, I'd have to set it up. I think, like, I don't, I'm going to assume Fed King is actually the highest CC for her. Because uh, bro is beefy. So yeah, I'd have to like, set it up better. But like, my highest CT, CC I know, as far as I'm concerned, is like 422k, right? Uh, I'm not sure if I have like, the right unit set up anyway. Uh, but like, this link is like trash and everything, of, of course, right? This link, I probably want, like, I can fight King on this guy. And I'd get drawn her, I guess, just for the HP. Um, and then like, it, it's something. I know it's, it's like, it's like I, I've, I was at 419k without this guy being beefy. So anyway, it should be higher. But yeah, um, this uh, this guy will, like, Green Escanor already has, like, 69 KCC, I think, on HP defense. Uh, we can check. I reckon he, little Bro can definitely get, uh, I think I'm going to have to get him up. Yeah, I'm going to have to get the last five levels. But, like, right now, if we check, there's not a good HP set. If we check with this, he's at 65k, level 95, right? So level hard, it'll be, like, 65.6 like or something. Actually, I don't know how much like, levels are really affected. I don't think I have the maths for it. Yeah, I don't. Uh, well, I will in, like, 10 seconds. But... Um, his CC is gonna be arguably better than, uh, Ella, like, uh, the one ultimate, or it's gonna be close to it. So I guess maybe I'll just get to, like, 420, like, 3k or something, I guess. Uh, but it's still really exciting. It's super exciting. Um, I'm also glad it's green, Esk, you know, that kind of confirms my theory that for fest banners, when they release an LR, it's gonna be a fest. And for 600 banners, like the summer one, we're going to get, um, we're gonna get a 600 character as well. So that's really cool. Um, and yeah, this is for humans, you get attack, right? You get 3% attack for, for every human. Pretty cool. Um, I mean, yeah, but that's, that's really it. That's the entire patch notes, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Good show.